hey everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be doing a short white set i'm going to be using a soft white color which is called frosted pink by mia secret and when i tell you this was one of my og colors like when i was a beginner nail tech back in 2020 i was using this color like every single day i used this color on like every client i had literally like this was one of my first colors when they asked me for white i always had the soft white because this white is a lot easier to work with versus a white white so if you take a white white and mix it with clear it will give you this color and it will be so much easier to work with so for my clients um and back then when i was a beginner i used to only offer them soft white because I didn't really know how to control the white acrylic and it's very very hard to know how to control white acrylic it's just super runny and it was just like always going all over the place if you know about white acrylic you know exactly what i'm talking about and it's it's no white acrylic that i have tried where it's perfect where it's like given this consistency where you can really like work with it i have tried um young nails um speed white i tried not polished white i tried valentino white don't get me wrong they're good but they're just not like it's still too runny like if what i'm saying makes sense if you know what i'm talking about comment down below that white um acrylic be so hard to work with y'all know that it just give you hell if you especially if you're a beginner nail tech so i recommend 100 percent to use the soft white which is the um the one i'm using now it's a little bit off you know it's just not it's not pigmented and to me personally i like this color i like um soft white it's a nice color and i like it oh it goes with everybody's skin tone so like i said if you want to try to make this color yourself all you need is um clear acrylic and white white acrylic mix that bad boy together until you get like a literally a soft color like this so the brush i'm going to be using is the mccart pro brush and i think this is a size 10 i think if not i will have a link down below in the description so you guys can see but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and place that bead down and as you can see the way i do my acrylic is i especially with short nails i try not to do it super super bulky because you're gonna have to drill it down anyways because with the short nails you want it to be a little bit more on the natural side so i always make sure i add a couple of drops of acetone in my monomer so that way i have full control over my acrylic beads and then i just kind of like mold it i mold the acrylic into the nail plate so it's like when i'm doing a cuticle area i make sure i don't flood it it's not hard at all you just have to know how to deal with the acrylic you see how my acrylic is really like not running all over the place it's running down because i do have her hand her fingers tilt down but gravity is literally doing all the work for me i'm not i don't have to do too much of the work and all i'm doing is like pulling down on the sides and you know squaring the shape up and making sure all that extra leftover acrylic i cut it off at the tip and just keep on molding it and keeping your shape keeping your shape in the nails is going to cause you to not have to drill for a super long time um, a lot of my like students, like when I teach classes, they always tell me that I always had a problem with the drilling. And to me, the drilling part is the easiest part once you have the application down pack. You can't have the application down pack and then expect the drilling to be easy. So if the application is down pack, the drilling is going to be so smooth. So that's the base of your nail. The application is your base. You want to make sure that it's the foundation is beautiful it's flawless it's perfect if you can't get it perfect and not every time it will be perfect but you got to get it as close to perfect as you can you don't want it to be humpy and bumpy and some parts is high some parts is low you do not want that you want like a nice consistency you want to make sure you have a nice apex you want to make sure your nails is not too thick and it all depends on the client i have some clients that like their short nails to be so thin that 
it, it looks like it's almost in no acrylic there. Then I have some clients that want it a little bit more on the thicker side, so that way it does not break. So it's really all up to you, and that's why you have to have certain conversations with your clients. So here I'm gonna be doing a marble. I just placed that clear acrylic, which is from Speed Speed Clear from Young Nails, and I just use that white poly, that white acrylic. I'm sorry, and I just kind of like marble it and that's how i get this effect it's not hard i'm not doing it in no a special way i'm just kind of like just moving the tip of my brush to where i want it to be and as you can see those beads that i'm placing down it is on the runny side so that way i have like it, it moves itself it don't i don't have to do too much i'm able to really move it without it you know being stuck onto the nail so that's what you want to do. So you really want to do the marbling on the on the runny side versus like dry, like molding. It's not time for you to mold it yet. It's really for you to just kind of like, you know, do be able to do the marble. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other finger. I show you here that I place the white first and then I add the clear. Because it, it, it gives you the same effect no matter which one you add first. You can add the white, you can add the clear. It, you still get the same effect it doesn't matter it's just whatever you prefer to do and it's no like i said it's no specific way i'm doing it i'm just literally just marbling it and i'm using the tip of my brush just to get me to be able to marble and move the acrylic where i want it to be and once i'm done with that i'm gonna add some foil at first my client didn't really want no foil she just wanted it to just be the marble like that and i'm like I haven't done foil in a long time, especially gold foil. I'm like, let's add a few of this. Like I didn't have I didn't do this set in a long time. When I tell you it's been probably like oh my god, almost a year since I done a set like this. And I just, you know, no, probably less than a year. No, no, probably less than a year. I'm, I'm probably doing too much. It's, it's probably been like it's been a long time. I'm gonna lie, it's been more than six months since I did a set like this, but um, I just add pieces of foil and I already have my foil kind of like broken down into little small pieces and I just move them around whether I want the big like you know I just move it to whether I want big or small I try not to do too not too much of the big ones so that way it don't take over the um, marble but I just kind of like move them around and see where I want to place it. The good thing about the foil is um, you just place them down and they're going to stick down with the acrylic that you have already on there. I, I, and I do do it when it's still kind of wet so that way my my foil do stick to it. And I just just do it. Like I, it's no right or wrong way of doing this. I'm just literally just placing it down. And just you have to have an eye for it. Wherever you feel like you want to place it, you place it. Wherever I look and I'm like, oh, maybe I could add a little bit more here. I just add it and just to see how I want it to be. And if you don't like the way it's coming out, you can always take it off. That's the good thing about it. If you do, if you place the foil in an area where you like, oh, I didn't like it right there. Or maybe I need to get a bigger piece or a smaller piece or whatever you want it to do. It, it's it's easy to wipe off like you can fix it if you feel like you made a mistake one thing you have to do and this is a must is to cap the nail you always have to um use the clear acrylic to cap the nail or when you when it's time for you to um drill you're going to end up drilling the entire design off and you're going to be wasting your time so make sure you cap the nail you make sure you mold the sides because you really want that encapsulated nail to be nice and and flat you know you want it to be even you don't want it to be humpy and bumpy because this is the clear acrylic if your acrylic is humpy and bumpy it will show bubbles in the clear acrylic and when it's time for you to go ahead and do the top coat it won't be super clear and you want that you know super clear glassy look you know so just make sure you're capping the, the um nail and you're making sure you clean around that cuticle area that's very very important because you do not want the nail to lift i just go in with like a pretty big bead i place it down and i'm just gonna kind of like let the nail work for itself first and i move into place and shape it I can do this in a 1B method or 2B method, long as my nail looks good. 
It doesn't matter how many beads you're using, as long as your nail looks even and it looks good, your apex is there. I literally use the clear acrylic to build the nail. Because remember, when you're doing a marble or any type of encapsulation nail, your nail is still thin and you don't want it to look super thin when it's time for you to be done with the nail. So that's why you have to make sure you use the clear acrylic to give you that, you know, that foundation and also to cap the entire design together. So when it's time for you to drill, you don't, you're not drilling the product off. So for my drilling process, I like to use the fine bit and it is a safety bit. I got this bit from Kiara Sky and I like to just kind of like, you know, debulk the nail, but not too, too much. I still want my nice apex. I don't want the nail to be super flat. And, you know, I just kind of like go around the cuticle area, seal it, and then I just feather it out just to make sure it's very smooth. I like to use a fine bit because the fine bit it don't it's not it, it it's not too harsh and it's actually going to still get the job done and it's going to smooth out the nail as well and i don't like to i don't have to take too much um acrylic off because my application is flawless so once you have a good application you don't necessarily need a strong bit As you do nails, the more you do nails, as a beginner nail tech, the better you will become. So practice, practice a lot. Don't focus too much on doing designs, just really more so focus on just your application and your shaping. That's gonna be like the most important steps when it comes down to learning how to do nails. And then of course, you can go ahead and do French and encapsulation and everything else that comes with doing nails, but really, really focus on that application. That application is gonna leave you good every time. This is the final look, you guys. Super cute, simple, but very nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. Bye.